ever feel like life just keeps throwing curveballs? Like yeah. you just get settled and bam, something else comes out of left field. You're not alone. That's kind of what we're diving into today. How to deal with those moments when life throws you for a loop. We're really going deep with Les Brown. He's this motivational speaker, incredible guy, and he's got this way of looking at challenges that's honestly kind of inspiring. Yeah, what's interesting about Les Brown is he doesn't sugarcoat things. You know, he talked about job loss, finances being a mess, even losing people you love, heavy stuff. But he does it in a way that draws you in, like you want to listen. Totally. <laughs> he's not pretending it's all sunshine and rainbows, mm -hmm. right? He gets real, talks about those tough experiences we all face. It's almost like he's saying, yeah, life can be brutal sometimes, but here's the thing. It's how we choose to respond to those hardships that really defines us, right? I like that. Like anybody can be positive when things are easy, but it's those moments when you're getting knocked down that really show what you're made of. And that's a good point. It's not about pretending everything's perfect. It's about finding that inner strength, that grit to keep going even when you want to just hide under the covers. Absolutely. And one of the key things he talks about is shifting your perspective. Instead of those challenges being these impossible roadblocks, he wants us to see them as, get this, opportunities for growth. Oh, I like that. Right. But easier said than done right. I mean, when you're in the middle of something awful, it, it's hard to see past that. It is. It is. And I think that's why he uses this analogy of the Chinese bamboo tree. It's so powerful for understanding how Sometimes the most important growth, we don't even see it right away. Oh, remind me about the bamboo tree. I feel like I've heard that. Before. Okay, so you plant the seed for this special type of bamboo, and for five years, nothing. You water it, fertilize it, nothing. Five years. Five years. It'd be so easy to look at that and go, what am I doing wrong? This is pointless. No, I'd be gone after a year or two. This bamboo is a dead. <laughs> see ya. Right. But here's the thing. Even though it looks like nothing's happening, underground huge root system is developing and then year five boom it just shoots up right like 90 feet out of nowhere it seems like but that five years of like invisible growth that was key the bamboo wasn't slacking off it was building a foundation to support that crazy growth when the time was right and that's such a good point just because we don't see something happening right away doesn't mean it's not right yeah. it's like all that really important growth the stuff that matters it's happened where we can't even see it. It's like he's saying, we gotta change our focus. Don't get so caught up in the outcome and the when will I get there. Find a way to appreciate the journey, even when you can't see the finish line. Okay, but how? Seriously, that's way easier said than done. Especially if you've been putting in the work, watering that bamboo, mm -hmm. and still nothing. How do we find that patience? Well, Brown talks about faith, and not like religious faith necessarily.